Hello there, uh, I'm Guy Bennis, writer of Jimmy's Bastards for Aftershock, and that's what I'm here to talk about. Hey, Garth, nice seeing you again. Uh, so, how'd you come up with the idea of Jimmy's Bastards? Uh, Jimmy's Bastards is the story of Britain's number one super spy, Jimmy Regent, who I think it's pretty obvious was inspired by the uh, adventures of James Bond, 007. Um, what got me started was the notion of the kind of romantic uh, entanglements and chaos that a character like that has left behind him over the years. Um, specifically, all those little kids that uh, he's run out on the mothers of and not had the stick around to bring up. And I started to think, I wonder what would happen if a couple of them got together, came up with a plan, recruited all the others or as many of them as they could and set out to, as we have it in the story, get daddy. What would happen then? What would the plan be to get daddy? Uh, how would daddy first become aware of it? and how would things turn out. And I have to say, I have to say that I've never really seen any group of villains, any any super villain take a hero down this way before. I think I came up with something pretty original. Um, anyone who's read the sixth episode will know what I mean. Um, hopefully, it's an original take. Do you have a favorite character in the series? My favorite character is Nancy McEwen, Jimmy's new partner. Um, she's very capable, but she's also extremely long-suffering. Um, not, uh, not blessed with an overabundance of good fortune, Nancy, which is the sort of character I like writing. Uh, someone who's very good at their job, but who's generally pretty unlucky and suffers the consequences. Um, Nancy, I think, is a prime example of that. Is there a favorite scene that you have uh, between Jimmy and Nancy at all? Yeah, it's there's a couple, actually, and they're both in the very last episode, so watch out Ooh. for that. There's, uh, there's a big secret that is revealed that uh, up until shortly before that, neither of them have been aware of. Um, and there's also a sort of epilogue to the story in which the, the two of them sit down at dinner and talk, and um, I had a lot of fun writing that. Nice. So, what is there? Is there a certain um, image that Russ Braun, the artist, has created that you love the most? in the series from... Well, there are dozens, there are dozens, and that's what I rely on Ross for, is to, to visualize all this lunacy as I put it down on paper, but I've liked his takes on some of the wilder looking characters. Uh, I like Bobo the Bastard, the chimp clan. Yeah. I like Theophilus Trigger. Um, I like the way he handles the interactions between Jimmy and Nancy, actually. Um, Jimmy's just so infuriatingly blasé. Nancy finds him constantly irritated, or irritating. Sorry, but she knows she's got to. She knows she's got to stick with him. And there's something about Jimmy she's drawn to. She can't put her finger on. It's not what you might think, of course. Are we gonna see any big things happening with Jimmy's bastards in the future, maybe? Well, that's one of those spoiler teaser things I can't reveal uh, knowing wink to camera maybe possibly is that um, that you'll just have to keep watching to find out yeah thank you so much guys for spending time with our Aftershock fans really appreciate all the things that you've done with us and for our fans my pleasure keep reading thank you right. bye